Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So you'll recall that I tested this extremely lightweight 2.8 pound polyethylene plate that Sawyer Lawrence sent. Shot it twice with M855 and it was able to stop it. Now, something else that I thought would be kind of interesting is 50 grain TSX. It's moving along really fast. It's also overall harder than a full metal jacket lead core bullet because it's solid copper. So I thought those th two things together might have a chance to get through this polyethylene plate. Let's see what happens. I think that's the new impact. Yeah, man, <laughs> that didn't get very deep in there. Peeled a lot of layers apart. Fair amount of back face deformation, but again, no perforation of the plate. Three three zero eight. impact. Oh, nice. Stopped it. Definitely stopped. Okay, so that's super impressive. This plate is insanely light, and it was able to stop a ridiculously fast, reasonably hard bullet. I don't think I'll be shooting with EPR anytime soon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that will just zip right through it, but I am impressed with this plate. It is amazing. If you're interested in buying a plate like this or other surplus police armor, Give Sawyer Lawrence a, con a call. I will place his contact information below. As always, thanks for watching. If you feel inclined to leave a comment, I'd appreciate that. Liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all of those things help a great deal. And if you're already subscribed, but you don't wanna miss a video, make sure you click the little bell icon down there next to subscribe and check the box to be notified every time I post a video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hey, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So that lightweight plate that Sawyer Lawrence sent to me, the, the all white, fuck that, I'll just show it to you, why would I? Because it's out there in the fucking garage. I'm gonna walk all the way the out of here to get it. I'm out of here, might as well get the other one.